Even craft. Alright, Miss Shaman. Uh, 2 play point 2 2. And fair, give an allied follower resistance to target the enemy. That was an effect. Okay, just. I think this is better than um, Minu. The only thing is it can't play on turn 2 and give itself it this effect. So that's the only downside. But uh, you can give it to like a. a Something that's bigger. So it's it's nice. Actually pretty playable. Especially in like a Guardian Sun deck. In Guardian Sun you can just uh give us something that has a ward. It also has the two two stats, so it's you can play on two turn two as vanilla drop, that's fine. I have not Temple Defender, actually, yeah. Bellproof, 1313 word, yep. Okay. Uh, Chandelier of Prayers. Whenever you play an amulet, Stratus Countdown, Camp 1 Friends Countdown. Eh. How many. That's how many amulets you have to play to make this worth it? Too many. So, except. So, a lot of amulets you play do have, like, Captain one, and those are the amos that are actually going to get benefit the most from this. Hmm. It's pretty slow, but yeah, it's um a lot of amos that you that cost one or are pretty good. I mean, you have like a one countdown, like remove two things or remove all natural all followers with uh, three or less health or whatever. There's two left health or whatever. I think it's two left, two left health. Those are good amulets. So if you can just kind of stack those kind of effects, you can get a lot of value out of this. And no, it's only when you play the amulet. So if it, if it returns from, um, to, uh, if it gets in play any other way, then from your hand, it's not going to get subtracted. So you don't instantly win with this, and. Um, and Seraph. Um, take two, you probably don't want to draft this, because you just not a body. You need to draft a lot of the name that's circuit work. Next we have Octodad. Uh, 4.34, so stats are average for a 4 drop. And your turn, restore 3 life to this follower. Yeah. You can beast with some really good 4 drops, though. And, and if you play in Guardian Sun, then it's nice because he. You can evolve him 5 6, uh, kill something, heals himself back up, and has word. Yeah, but it competes with some really strong 4 drops. But it's decent. And take 2 is pretty good. Because take 2 you just like, play him, evolve him, kill something, and he has the health left over. And it's tough to remove. The 6 health, um, it's pretty hard to remove. And also yeah, it's hard to play with Sedge Hammer. I mean, just um, yeah, he's not he's not on tier with the uh, other the current cards we have, but he's like not bad, right? Herman's Moon. Yep. I also like some kind of knight over here getting tentacled. It's the same thing over here. Anyway. Moving on. Here, healer. Uh, or play point three three. Or to defense to an ally. Uh, enhance six restore two defense to all other allies. Said. I don't think you ever want to play for enhance. So it's like to me, it's like a um, the frog healer. Except it has plus one plus one more stats and heal you for or heals you for one less. Sure, she's pure. Yep. 
those uh, booty shorts sure are pretty, pretty pure. Like, healing your own allies isn't that big a deal in Constructed. Most of the time, I feel. But I guess if it's effect attached to a body, it might be alright. But it's like 3-3. Three, three. I think if it was like... If it was, it was just like uh, a 6 cost and had the right stats for 6 cost and, he and healed everything for 2. Might be more playable. Hmm. Jana value. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It would be hard to like justify playing this contracted. Take two, it's eh, it's okay. <laughs> Get that Ayalia Janu defense haven up and running. Get board sweeped every every time. Yeah. Good for waifu deck. Three. Uh, other uh, two play point two two. There's so many of these. They all comp they all compete with each other. So it's really hard to give, like say if it's playable or not. This guy is definitely definitely pretty playable. Whenever your leader's defense is restored, you'll two damage to enemy leader. Uh, this card's pretty cool because uh. It works even if you're not actually healing. If you're healing for zero, you're still doing the effect. So it might be like, you can do some pretty crazy combos with this. Like Pegsa Sculpture, mute three Pegsa Sculptures on the board, <laughs> and you drop, you drop this guy, he already pings for six. Burn Haven is like, yeah, yeah. I don't know how you OTK with this stuff, though. How do you OT how do you get the OT OTK to work? Yeah, it definitely works with Atlantis because you're already going for the heals anyways. You play with three of them. You play play three of them. Oh yeah, yeah. You play more you because they stack. So if you if you play two of them, and you have what's the dream? Uh, more effects. Okay, so you have three, three peg sculptures, two of these. Uh, that's twelve damage. Yeah, use holy water. That's four times three. 12. Okay, so it's twelve damage with these with sculptures, and then you and you play some holy waters and junk. Holy waters and uh, healing prayers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you really want to run the combo. I think you just run them as value card. And then you have the potential of just dropping him and bursting the opponent down um, with some rabbit healers and stuff like that. Also, he gets buffed if you're healing. If you land on the board and you're healing, um, he's still this guy's still getting buffed, which is nice. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And you're also healing if your health is below twenty. Actual actual heals. This card's kind of nuts. Definitely replaces uh, Unica in the current belt, I think. Next we have Iron Maiden, like a awkward tribunal. Uh, four play point amulet countdown two, so it gets two activations. Uh, end of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy follower. It can't attack next turn. So if it doesn't die, so this effect, it's just it locked down for a turn. It just slows down opponent. It'd be nice in like a Seraph deck, because you just slow down your opponent a little bit. Of course if they have a bunch of dudes, it's not a big deal. 
Yeah, Somatic Leaf is pretty cool. And then it, it does it twice, so it's over two turns. <laughs> We're seeing 9 10 in the decks, yeah. It's similar to Force of Dreams, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like okay, right? In theory. But it has to, like, it's a random effect, so it has to land in the right place. If it just, like, if they have, like, a, um, a Tia, Crystalline Eve, and a Fairy, and it hits the Fairy, you're just gonna cry. Of course, it's the same thing can be said with Tribunal, right? If Tribunal hits the fairy, it's not good, right? Hmm. But yeah, it slows down. It slows down some like, especially, especially slows down Dragon, because they're usually gonna only have like one or two things on board, anyways. It locks down one of them. But Tribunal just kills it. I don't know if you have enough room in your deck for a bunch of four cost amulets to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, if it was a longer turn, it would be definitely better, obviously. <laughs> uh, take two, I think it's fine to pick those up. They're probably better things, but it's uh, not terrible. I think next we have one of my favorite cards in the set. Uh, five play point, three five, word, and f has those, has the awkward stats of like not being as good as other things that have um ward at, at the cost five. But fanfare, if there's no other followers in play, this follower gains plus one attack and can't be damaged by spells and effects. So it's a four five, ward. It's like a um. Box? Ah, uh, maybe not that good. Uh, I was, I was a little more hype when I first saw this card. But I think it's, it doesn't have enough health. Should be statted differently. Should be like a 2. 2-6. Two, yeah, you still can't DOD, which is really nice. You can evolve, it's pretty good. You have to evolve, and the evolve is good. You usually have a evolve on turn 5. You definitely have a follow-up turn five. Can't be damn it. Oh, so it's gonna be DOD. Oh. Eh. Eh, it's not that great. Hmm. Yeah. Another card that we can't kill Albert. What? Who runs burn though? Like damage burn. I guess like shadow has most, most removal is in the form of damage. Same as blood. A lot of a lot of single target removal is just kill. Hmm. Yeah, it's still okay. Yeah. I think if you're playing like if you're playing Guardian Sun, there's definitely better five drops you just to give him ward. Or you just like play like a different. I don't know. I it, I don't know why this is conditional. It just should be an effect because it's gonna make it much better. Anyways. Uh yeah, I guess it's definitely good against um good against the rune. Yeah, it can be with Radiance, but Radiance also draws you a card. It's really nice. Definitely not gonna be with Lion. Lion always is it always in the deck over this card. Uh next we have Clay Donian Boar. Cal Donian Boar. Uh six play point four four. Fanfare. Retract one from the countdown while I'm all allied and it says rush. His stats are garbage. Effects okay. Uh, decent intake too. Probably will never see play in a constructed. Big pig.
Hmm. It... If we kill the thing, I guess. If we kill, kill the thing, get, get, actually get to do the countdown reduction on two good amulets. Decent, but what deck is playing that kind of stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Just an okay card you're gonna take two. Next we have Zo Zoe. Replay point three four. Above the curve stats. On a on a really important turn to have above the curve stats. Remember those follower attacks, deal two damage to an <laughs> a random allied follower. Deal two damage to your leader instead if there's no there's only one attacks. So you can really control when you when you want those to happen. Also, it gets ward with Guardian Sun, which makes it really really good. You're just uh, paying for its uh, above the curve stats with a uh, two damage to your stuff. Only one in attack, though. So if you don't really care about attacking, uh, you can avoid this effect. If you have ward, like. Uh, you don't really have to attack with it anyways get it for it to get value. That's pretty good. Probably we'll see constructed in Guardian Sun if Guardian Sun's still a thing. And you can pick this up and take two if you have a chance, I guess. With probably better stuff though. Because gold have to compete with legendaries. But not too terrible here to pick it up. Uh, next we have the Judge of Retribution, 6 wave point, 3 5, banish an enemy, <laughs> enemy follower with 3 or less defense, then draw a card. I think that's pretty good. The uh, the fact that it'd be 3 or less is kind of annoying, but uh, I think if it was anything more, it'd be just too strong. It also draws you a card. It replaces himself, removes the thing, act in his body so you can evolve it, and like kill a thing as well. Just really good overall. Plus, it has has the stats, so it gets affected by Guardian Sun as well. This is Kudrilek on a fanfare and draws your card. It draws your card. E uh, I think it draws your card if you banish something or not, right? Yeah, pretty good. Like Papa Kujal. <laughs> yeah, you draw a card anyway, so like it's like not too bad. It's kind of just kind of garbage if it, you're not killing anything with it. I don't think you have to target the draw. I think it's draw anyways. That's usually how how it works in this, in this game. Uh, yeah, like Warrior Raider heals you for two, even if you don't drain something. Even if you don't do the damage or whatever. Alright, let's uh, move on. I see pick this guy up and take two if uh, there's no better option. <laughs> if you have Holy Grail, Tarnished Grail, uh, eight play points. Deal two damage to all other followers, so already has a vampire's crappy port clear. Last words: randomly put three of the following word cards in your hand: Serpent of Darkness, Silent Rider, Distamination, and Astaroth Reckoning. So these are all the cards from Satan deck. Serpent Darkness is a thirteen thirteen for five play points. Uh, Silent Rider is an eight eight for. Eight, but oh, six play points. Yeah. With storm, a distamination is a, a seven cost that does seven damage to an enemy, and you heal seven. And as our reckoning puts the opponent's health to one for ten play points. That's uh, yeah, they're all really good cards. Fact, the fact that it's a countdown though, it has you have to wait. 
So you have to like combo it with some other card to get, try to get those same cards earlier. Uh, and he banished. So it's a. Uh... So I play Eidolon, boys. Mm -hmm. Just hope it doesn't get banished by Dragon. Clearly, you Bahamut it. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's say the destroy your deck. It's true. And it's, it's, and it's not random. Like, the Satan deck is. Like, well, of course, it's a, it's a deck of cards is random, but, uh. You don't have to wish yourself luck to get the right thing. You just have the right thing in your hand already. Yeah, the, yeah, everything is countered by that stupid broken dragon card. And you can't have fun things without that card. But yeah, this is, uh, pretty nice. Definitely pick a, this up and take you. It will win you games if you can get this work. That could be Seraph. Yeah, like, obviously, Last Words do this is not as good as Last Words um, win the game. But you don't need to play three combo cards on this one. You can play one. And immediately get it immediately get this. Plus it's this it comes with a board clear attached to it. Hmm. And you can play this on what? Uh, you can't you can't activate right away. Let's use the chandelier. I don't, I don't know if you want to use the chandelier with this. Or use the um, sage. The uh, 3.21 that reduces the countdown on intern. Uh, next we have Dark Janu. Dark Jean, 6 play point, 5-5. Five, five. Deal 2 damage to all other followers. I think she's the like she's the cheapest card of this effect, right? Deals 2 damage to all other followers, kind of thing. Another another Fafnir effect. But on a cheaper cheaper uh card. And then give plus two to all other followers. Plus two attack. This includes your enemies uh, followers, so you don't kill them. You get the plus two attack. Pretty scary. So if you're bored, if you have a nice big board like with tiger and stuff, you can do this and give yourself a bunch of attack. But a lot of the time, your opponent's gonna have stuff that's gonna stick to the board too, and then they're gonna get the attack, and you're gonna be sad. <laughs> After effect, that helps the enemy kill you. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's a very situational card to play, right? Turn second and then six twos. Yeah, so it's like there's a, there's a downside to playing to playing it. And it's, hard, it's hard to say, like if it obviously if this wasn't like uh, both sides, this card would probably see play immediately. But I don't know. If it, it might like it might just not see play if people aren't playing a bunch of small dudes. It's not worth it. it's not worth the risk of uh giving enemies plus two attack. Yeah, it kills the birds. But what you can do is like if they have like someone with four health, you can tr you can attack the bird in. And then play Janu, and then Janu kills that, which is uh, which is is good. Like that's like, all can happen a few times. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, for Linus, maybe. Something. Not as crazy as the next card we're gonna talk about. Let's uh 
Move on. The Heavenly Aegis. 9 play point 8 8. And then it's uh, obscure a text. Can't be damaged. Can't be targeted by spells and effects other, other than those that relate to uh, attack or defense. Relate to attack or defense. Whatever that means. For example, this follower cannot be destroyed by banishing using spells and effects. So. Is it weird? weird really weird, worded this weirdly. Do we know if it can be affected by Kawi or Lurching Corps? Tribunal? We have, like, it's. I don't think they told us. Because the way it's worded on this, it just can't be targeted. It also can't be damaged. It says it can't be targeted. It doesn't say it, doesn't say it can't be. Spells and effects. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know. But yeah, whoever whoever wrote this, <laughs> whoever wrote this, uh, did not correctly contrive how actually how this thing works. And I wish that they just like told us in like a post somewhere, gave us examples, told us what it, what actually can affect it, what can't. I'm assuming just, I want to assume. Nothing can kill it, uh, but you but you can change the stats. That's it. And you can't transfer. You can't, you can't do anything to it. Just you just change the stats. That's it. So you can be buffed by um, Elena's. And I think that's a deck he's gonna be seeing playing in. Because he can't be attacked by G-Sun. He's want to play a deck with just a, a bunch of heals. So you just survive until late game. Drop this bad boy and then go to town. You make yourself in zero. Um, yeah, if there's a way to reduce his stats all the way down to zero. I would assume so. But there's not a lot of negative to health effects in the game. Yeah, can make. It... Well, that only affects him for one turn. It's Kalgia. Yeah, and Kalgia can make an attack one. So they play Kalgia, killer on on top of him, and then his attack one's one. But then they had to play play Kalgia. They had to evolve her. Uh, yeah. So it's like, you're not losing that much. It's permanent though. Yeah. It's per Medusa can't kill him. Yet. He's immune to immune to the effects. He can't be killed, guys. How hard is it? How hard is it to, to understand? You play him. He's he's, out, he's there. He's not gone ever. But I mean, you have to play not a, an eight eight for nine. That doesn't do anything unless you have an evolve still. <laughs> yeah. Um, if Dragon slows down the game a lot, you can just play this guy and like smack him. Now I can't kill him. Apparently, don't know. I don't know. I feel like he's, he just can't die. That's 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 the end of the story. You can spend like all day talking about him. Not, it's in turn nine, so a lot of other things just kill you on turn nine.
Oh, it's like imagine if Ka Kawi just doesn't see him. He's just not. He's just like to to Kawi. There's no there's nothing on board. It's like it's like having an empty board. Yeah, Seraph is gonna like. Um, Haven is truly in need of a win con because uh, the new dragon spell. 